right, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta get these shoes out, man. Man, I gotta get these sneakers out. I gotta ship them to StockX. Ah, they're gonna ban my account again if I don't get these out. I gotta buy some more Stone Island jackets for the show. Fuck. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, What's take, fuck, what's taking so long? Yes, and drop these shoes off at Stock X. Bro, we got to do the show, bro. Shut up. Stop wearing hands. That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I am your co host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Trinidad James. What's good, guys? And we have a special guest with us today. Please yes, introduce sir. Introduce yourself to the people out there. My name is. Josh Luber, I'm the CEO and co-founder of StockX, and, and I've come on the show. I have uh, Josh Luber uh, step in and you're banned. I'm, I'm, I'm a grown man. I'm a grown man. I'm married. I got there it at, is. at last. Something, there something it is. even better. Also, also the founder of Campless. Never forget. Before yeah. we get into all the sneaker new stuff, you have a special pair of sneakers on today. Is that I right? Do. Should we talk about those right now? I, 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 I Should can't we? Wait. Yeah, yeah. This item, the special item, came to you out of the goodness of my heart, if I'm not mistaken. This particular size came to me. Out of the goodness of your heart. That's what happened. Please let me, fill well, me in on this so relationship right? here. This well, I walked in and, and the, he didn't even say hi. He goes, he just goes, those shoes suck. He didn't. Well, oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't even say hi. Okay. Um, so these are the Reebok Kamikaze. Kamikaze. Yeah. You know, remember the Almo? This was done with Packer, uh, Packer, Packer. back in 2013. Mike, Mike, come on the show. Shout right? out to Aaron. Mike, shout out to dope. Victor. It was a retail cop that that I got them, and they they sold out. You know, but they weren't selling for an extraordinary amount of money. Correct. But they were reselling for a little bit. And I bought a size 10. And I wear a 10 and a half. Okay. And back in the day, and I, and I put out on the campus uh, Twitter, I said, did anyone, can anyone size swap this? And I get an email from some guy that works at Soul Collector. Wow, did he just try to put a mustache picture no, inside of the thing? Pre -mustache. mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, no, no stash. Sneaker savior. It's PM. This, this, is, this is the days when <laughs> Brendan used to sit at his desk uh -huh. and fucking eat cliff bars and churn out fucking, <laughs> fucking word blog posts all day. Woo. I think I just moved back to Philadelphia, but my brother was still Yeah, I met your brother. I braved I braved a, a, a very cold evening to uh -huh. get those sneakers. Yeah, no, I pre I probably only worn them maybe a half a dozen times. Well, this is the most show. appropriate time I, I can think of. <laughs> I, I was very like, cute. I was like, what is the, the perfect shoe to wear this? And I was like, sitting next to you, this could be no better. I do want to note, though, I looked up on StockX right before I came here. The size 10 and a half that I'm wearing is reselling available for 198 but the size ten. But the size. Thank you. The size ten that I gave him is two hundred and sixty. So you made out sixty-two oh. bucks in that. Deal. Okay. I hope. I that. hope we're still friends. Numbers, after all. Yeah, everybody. Absolutely. I hope. I mean, after this. I, now that we have that backstory, we want to dip into some sneaker news. First thing we're talking about here is the Rocket X Kyrie 5. This is a leak. We're, we, we think this is coming out for All-Star Weekend. Uh, yes. How do you guys feel about these? I'm going to start first because uh, shout out to my boy Nico. You know, he's been working on this brand. Rocket is very successful, man. I see it in a lot of different places. I'm very happy for him. And now he's doing the Kyrie 5. So you're obviously feeling these. Oh, and you're very yeah, biased. I'm biased. I think super biased. But, but these are dope to me. I can't look at the shoe. I just want to. I'm still scarred by the Rocket under armor thing at complex con two years ago <laughs> what happened what happened you guys don't remember this activation the, i mean the, i remember the, the basketball yeah, remember the the skate that it was, it was the biggest thing it was in the middle of everything yeah every like you couldn't walk through anywhere near that I area i think that was the first time i heard of rocket yeah. that they're at complex con yeah, it was like, it but was, that's like, the point though i thought that was the point it's like to make a statement for your it's, brand it per with, se it was with under armor and it was just a bad mm, activation wow. the shoe's hot like, and like i think what they've been doing with the Kyrie has been great i think a lot of the different colorways have been really great but like that's still two years later the first thing I think about Rocket, this, and that's not a good thing. This okay. shoe to me looks a. It, number one, it looks like a GS shoe. Uh, number two, it looks a lot like 
the really uh, the overdone uh, Nike basketball stuff from a few years ago when Nike basketball is That's like, why I like it. It hey, looks like when Nike doing basketball this stuff. was like this was looks doing... like you should be wearing a pair of elite socks with it and I don't think we're ready to go it's back to It's a basketball those. shoe though. That's no, I'm talking about fucking 2011 the when, golden years. When, when every kid but, had like come on. 85s and fucking pink uh, you don't want to go back. You don't want to bring that back for no. basketball. No, I think I think we. These are hot. These are hard, bro. These are I hard. I don't care no, about rocket. We, 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 no we're offense. not ready for that yet. Rocket Nico, come on the show. Defend your shoe. All right, <laughs> moving moving forward. And your activation. Um, Black History Month sneaker pack for this year. I'm gonna put this out here. I feel that. Every other collab and every other thing that Nike does that they keep doing, like the dorm breakers per se, like I have on my feet. Shout out to Joey Bates. But they, they do it well, do it really well. Yeah. But I feel like for Black History Month, like it's just like, bro, like who's designing these shoes? They're never a real representation of my culture. Like, I don't know who's black. Nobody culture called you about these. Get some new designers. Like I went back and You don't like every any of the stuff from this pack? No. I think Completely looking from outside in this. What do you mean? Oh, please. What do you mean come outside? On, come on. Obviously, like from not being black. Yes, exactly. <laughs> outside looking in. Sure. But I think, I, think the, I think I think the, yeah. I think the Who's time the testament of a great product is that if you take if you strip Black History Month from like all of these sneakers, why would you, you want put, to do that? No, no, no. Okay, no strip it, it. Strip it. If you, if you take Black History Month off of all these shoes and we just put them out here, and we go. Do we like these sneakers? Sometimes when I see some of this stuff, I'm like. The answer is probably like it just you know it's it doesn't even feel like they're being designed by black people. How do you feel about the black? How do Black History Month shoes sell on StockX? Not not great at all. I mean, and it hasn't been for a couple of years that they've resold really at all. Right. I, I agree with you, by the way. Just outside looking, I've never felt you're like also, design. Outside you're not black. In, I'm, I'm also you're not sure. black, right? You got yeah, an afro up under your head. I got I got less than an afro. <laughs> The, the design is is never really been great. It's like a force, like ooh, let's throw kente on everything. Mm. Like, no, Too obvious, bro. That's not my culture, bro. Get out of here, bro. Moving on to something else. I want to talk about my Adidas. Well, wow, oh, that's the second my time culture. I've had to hear him rap. <laughs> oh, I didn't know what he was about to say. <laughs> we dodged a bullet right there. <laughs> my Adidas, uh, Adidas's online custom Sponsors. customization platform, no longer exists. It, it's done. They officially pulled the plug. I know it, people have been talking about it's going away. Is it done as yes, of now? Yes, it, it says farewell, my Adidas. Any shoes that were made before uh, January 13th will be shipped out, mm. but the program... <laughs> Did, well, did you ever spend any money on there, Welty? No. I feel like you're the only person I'm, I know. I'm, I'm this sort of, I'm under, I'm under I the, the, the impression a lot of the times that as much as we hate what the brand does sometimes, people are like, I could design a hotter shoe and you see it and you're like, that's why you don't design sneakers for a living. At least it was fun and you could do some stuff with it and, and whatever, but like, like, I've not even noticed this, that it is. And yeah. Nike is also changing the name of their program. Yeah, I don't know why. It, it seems like they're did shifting you, away you, from Nike you creative ID. Direct changing that? Nike ID's name? It, it looks like it, they're calling it Nike Made By You now. They're kind of getting away from this ID thing, which uh, why? is another thing I don't understand. Did they say why? How, how rich are you, Josh, by the way? How do you answer that? <laughs> what kind of what bag did you get when mm -hmm. uh, StockX was acquired or founded I'm by Dan Gilbert? I'm still working. Are you a millionaire? Mm -hmm. You're a millionaire, right? I don't know how to answer that. Yes or no? I don't know how to answer <laughs> that. Yes or no? I don't know how to You're answer that. You're definitely a millionaire. Those, wild, not, those you, wallet questions Do you not crazy. check like your, like your I, bank statement? I, I, what do you, who knows? I don't know how to answer that. Yeah. But speaking of the guy who gave you the money and made you a millionaire, mm -hmm. Dan Gilbert, who mm -hmm. also owns the Cleveland Cavaliers and Thanks. says some wild shit about LeBron James in the past, right? <laughs> Tell us the craziest Dan Gilbert story. Before I preface this, I don't want to hear some inspirational story about when you guys first met. I want to hear like the... <laughs> the fucking the the are you with me fucking wants four the lemon tomorrow. juice in your eyes oh like, shit He's tell the me the cr I, I know dan but gilbert's like probably a bit of a wild dude so you've seen some here's shit. the thing here's Sounds the thing like. dan like a lot of people that that are involved in a lot of things and dan owns all over part of about a hundred or so companies dan gilbert right? come on the show there is dan quick, gilbert it, give me some money it, it is quicken loans is the flagship yeah right and the cabs are the most notable, but there's a lot of companies that are part of the Quicken Loans family of companies. Right. So like 95% of working with Dan is an entrepreneur's dream come true. To be able to work with someone at this level is one of the most successful business people of our lifetime. I mean, right. like period. And you like- Went to the strip club with him? 
No. Come on, man. We 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 asked you for a story, and you gave us a fucking <laughs> Wikipedia I, entry. Right. No, I, he doesn't it, have one it, for you, bro. A, a story like that. I mean, it, you never seen him like snort cocaine off a stripper's oh, butt cheek, no. like in the office. Oh like, my god. That is that's the exact opposite type oh of, uh, of of. What do you think he's looking at this episode, jacking off right now? Like, oh, I can't uh, wait to say something. I don't know. How did we get you met here? LeBron James though. How did we get you? You met LeBron James though, right? I met LeBron in passing. I met LeBron in passing. You met Kanye West. I don't know. I met Kanye. What was it like going to? Kanye West in the StockX office. And this was like uh-huh. peak like Kanye yeah. Magarance. This was three days after SNL. Wealthy was retweeting oh, wow. all of them. Okay. Right? The premise of the visit was he was coming to visit Dan to talk about rebuilding the Midwest, right? This was when he had moved right. his offices to Chicago. Right. He was talking about, you know, factories and jobs in the Midwest. Right. And what Dan has done in Detroit is absolutely extraordinary. And so he was coming to, for that was the purpose of the visit. Right, for knowledge. Yep. We ended up spending about eight hours with him. First two in Dan's office, and then the next six sort of showing Kanye all the stuff going on in uh, in the city. And it was an experience. What's I mean, the craziest shit he said to you? We read the dictionary for an hour. Wow. That nice. sounds like my kind of from party. From the beginning? From that, a? that sounds like my kind of... Also, did you, did you kind of tell him that you, you tanked all the easy resale prices? Yeah, that was me. I, I did that. <laughs> I have one problem with StockX, and this is just from me being a sneaker guy. The transparency when it comes to shipping, it, it, well, it wasn't. Hey, let's set the stage. Oh yeah, okay, boom. So, so it's all about this sneaker right here. Shout out to my buddy Sa. He's my accountant and he's just a great guy. He's a, a newer sneaker head, but he's very intelligent. He loves StockX. When this shoe was coming out, I was like, oh, I really want this shoe. Of course, I want everything that's dope. You guys had it first. Like, we well, had it advertised first. The shoe didn't end up coming way until after the shoe released. Of course, I felt some type of way. You had the trigger meter going? Well, maybe, maybe so or whatever. I just was disappointed because I was like, man, I could have just waited and bought it for a few extra hundred more dollars. I didn't realize that the shipper has to ship it to you guys and you guys have to legit check it, then ship it to me. I feel like the transparency there was made me feel some type of way. Yeah, this is it's actually pretty good timing to talk about that because it, it's a 100 percent it's a legit issue right like the the nature of our business is we don't have any product we don't sell anything we're, we're just all we do is we connect buyers and sellers mm-hmm. and sometimes it can take a while particularly on a new release we have no way to know that they, they don't haven't received it yet but to your point um what we've actually done is um we've actually changed the um when you buy something it says like what the estimated uh shipping time is to try to be more transparent about when that's going to be and this whole year for us is about how do we get quicker and how do we get right. more transparent. So you're right. You know, this shoe came out, what, nine months ago now? Yeah, something, yeah, yeah, something like that. that. Yeah, yeah. Nine months in our life, that's like almost a third as long as we've been in business. We're right, still right. trying to figure that stuff out. So it's it's like you're not the only one that felt that way, which is why we've started to make some of these changes. It, it, it's, for sellers, too, it takes it takes longer to get paid. That's one that's one knock I have against StockX. If I sell something on eBay, which I would never do, mm-hmm. versus StockX, which <laughs> I would uh, maybe do since we're friends, um, you know, I, I, I just have to wait around to, to, and, you know, I'm, I'm stuck in this limbo where I'm like, when is my money coming? I need this money, man. This, this job doesn't pay so well. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Except we do have a program that for, for power sellers, if you're at a certain level, which, you know, you're you telling me to level up, sell, up. level up. Um, you get paid that the second that UPS thing gets just scanned. I actually did have that. I, uh, I shipped out a pair of shoes and I was surprised I shipped them out. I had to get them to UPS. I was like running. I was like, he uh, got blocked. You guys blocked yeah. him on Slack. I hit I I him, Josh, because whoever uh, on the email tried to give me a little bit of attitude saying, sorry, yeah, we, we can't. We definitely heard this story last night. And then but he, anyways, he hit me up and I pretended like we didn't do it on purpose. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. I shipped something out at, uh, 8 p.m., which is the latest the UPS store is open, and I actually had the money in my PayPal account at 10 o'clock in the yeah, morning oh, the next day. Ad. All right, there you go. Real quick question. Just Tell me uh, you're going to look at and talk about the shoes that, like... No, I'm, I'm just... I mean, I'm looking at your, <laughs> your, your, lo- your lovely uh, Chino denim parachute pants. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> Chino <laughs> denim. Who's, who's better at sneaker daddy? You or Matt Powell? Oh, me. We're continually trying to bait Matt Powell yeah, yeah. every single week. I, so okay. By the way, uh, I would 100% come and have a debate with Matt Powell about this. I've taken my turn of fighting him on Twitter like everyone. I everyone never did Everyone sort of takes their turn. And, what is, and what what is y'all beef, if you don't mind me asking? We don't have if a, it is not a beef, what is, a, the, we don't what is the differences? Beef. What's the we don't have a personal beef, but I'm 100% um, against his point that Kanye has no influence. Right, that Kanye has no... Because like, yeah, you wouldn't course. be in business. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> You're like, fuck Kanye. Don't sell Yeezys here. Got a question. Yeah. Have you ever resold sneakers? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, of course. All right. Go- going on to the real stuff, though. <laughs> so speaking about resellers. This is ridiculous. As people know, we were, uh, or 
I was there. You showed up a little late, People but it made that. the internet. Know where you're at at all times. It made the internet. This yes. event, he, you threw a you threw a StockX oh. thing in New York, and at the end, this you is... had your little panel talk, and you <laughs> had panel talk. Be like StockX <laughs> is the future of sneaker reselling. We are a marketplace of things. I believe in free market him. economics. Did hire. you say that? <laughs> At the end, you did a and a right? Where people were like, is yeah. StockX gonna open a retail store in New York? And then all of a sudden, like, there was a mob mm -hmm. of New an York City mob. resellers, yeah, the dudes who like line up outside Supreme and all that sort of shit and like running like the posses, like they're basically the reselling mules and all Shout that shit. Shout out to the loop. Shout out to uh, Soul Street, who was also in, in the building. Shout out my boy to... Guala, man. Guala, but what's good? What happened was is dudes got really fucking mad at you. Really mad. And they basically said that Stock X is ruining the sneaker resale yeah, market. Yeah. He asked me, um, what are you guys gonna do about undercutting? And and to, to clarify, right? Like, you know, on Stock X, you can place a, an ask for, you can sell a shoe for whatever you wanna sell yeah. it for. And if you see a, a, someone selling, you know, that shoe for $400, you can go and place an ask for $399. Right. You know, our answer to that is it's a free market. People can price things at whatever they want. It's America, baby. That happens on eBay. The problem is there's just a thousand different auctions. And so you price it at 400, someone puts a different one at 399, a different one at 398 or whatever it is. For us, it's all in one place. And so like, we're not gonna change anything about you know, it. Like, that's if, you, just, if you had like a socialist like Brendan, like running the thing, everyone would get $250 for every single sneaker that they sell. I'm, I'm actually not, you know, I'm not yeah. mad at Josh's uh, take on this because like uh, this only makes sneakers easier to get. And it's about access. Mm -hmm. Like we've grown the market as a whole and us and the other people that have, have been doing good stuff here, Stadium Goods and Goat and and, and You're fucking with Goat? I, I think Goat is a really good business. I think- not, it, But not the it, Goat business. No, it's not, no, it's not. <laughs> I actually bought business. a pair on yeah, there yeah, yeah. for the first time last night. They did, they did give me a little bit, a little but, bit of cash on there, and yeah. and it was quite nice. The biggest, you know, battle in sneaker internet nowadays is like fuck resellers, like fuck the bots. That's always been the fuck this because I I get the vibe from you at least before this outside of StockX that you actually do like sneakers and like you're the sort of like old school NT denim uh, wearing uh, purist. Do you hate? the person who has a bot and is scooping up 45 pairs of Concord 11s. It's not the person with the bot's fault. The brand should have a better system for equitable distribution of product. Literally last night, we just closed our first IPO at scale. And I don't know if you guys saw this, we did the slides with Ben, ben Baller. With ben, can Baller. You get, ben Baller, right, come on the show. Come on the show. Can you, he was ben actually, on the show? Yeah, can really? you explain you, that really? a little bit yeah. for, the, for the person who doesn't understand yeah. what the hell you're talking about? Yeah, so Ben made these slides last year. He also it's, made the chain. Uh, and it said Ben Baller did the chain on the slide. Here's my my stuck X chain. <laughs> um, oh, wow. Hey, oh, ladies I'm, and gentlemen, wow. I'm not mad at, at you for that. As, as a, a gold aficionado, is it verified? We might have to bring out the, the diamond test. Uh, it looks like ten or fourteen. Here's the thing: the, Ben made hundred pairs of slides, and all his friends wanted them. And uh, and I guess I'm and not they, Ben's friend. They started reselling them, and so he said, "Listen, I'm going to do a release of these." And I said, "Hold on, don't go do those at, at Zoomies or Paxson or something. Like, let's talk about this. We want to do this release. This is the future of StockX: is doing releases with brands." Okay. And so we sold 800 pairs of these yesterday, and it was a real IPO. It was a Dutch auction, which means that the we let the market mean? set the price. As opposed so here, to a Dutch oven. <laughs> 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 this is phenomenal. Yes. Uh, and and so he here's how it works. If there's 50 pairs of a black si size nine, okay. it's a blind auction. Everybody bids whatever they want to pay for it. You can't see anyone else's bids. The top 50 win. If the number one bid pay bid $1,000, right? And the number 50 bid was $200. The top 50 win, but the 50th bid is called the clearing price. So everybody pays the clearing price, even mm. the person that paid $1,000. No one's bidding 1000 for these, right? Some people did. What? Some, some people no bid a lot. No offense, Baller, but what the fuck? I'm not they Ben's friend. They the, the slide Chill closed. Bins. That's fake. And we're still you are fake news. <laughs> oh my God, just like your president. Oh wow, But okay. everybody pays the clearing price, which means that in that scenario, 49 out of 50 people get the slide for less than what they bid on it. For lack of less sort of cliche way of saying it, like this is truly revolutionary shit. The, the one thing like, this is the big idea that the company is doing. The these. one thing that I get caught up in, and, and when you're using all this language about, you know, this is an IPO and this is an auction, and these are, you know, it really the language only gets derailed when he talks about Dutch <laughs> ovens. Like that's, you know, no, but you, you know, you're, you're you're very convinced in 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 
selling these things in, as investments and making sure that people remember that they are commodities. Exactly. We like these things because they are more than commodities and because they have stories and, and you know, I'm, I'm going to use the word culture here. They have culture <laughs> attached to them and, and we feel some type of way about them. <laughs> I feel like something about the way StockX presents things is always stripping it of that and just going, this is money, this is an investment. We're all making money on shoes. I've resold them. Wealthy resells the stuff he gets for free. You know. Oh, you don't <laughs> resell the stuff you get for free? I, sometimes it's I don't fair. know StockX cares about sneakers. It's fair. Here's the thing. First of all, StockX is not about investment. But could it's an be. IPO. It, it could be. You can be. go and track your portfolio. It says portfolio. Again, when we talk about stock market, it is not about investments. What? Right? How is the stock market not about investments? And and this is this is this is a, a, a okay. This is a phenomenal like line of, of of discussion because we are a stock market in the way that we connect buyers and sellers. All we do is we connect people. We're an evolution of eBay in, in what we are. Better but, than eBay in But the ways. way, thank you. The way that we do that is how the stock market connects buyers and sellers, which is you have one product page, right? Go to eBay and, and search for those shoes. You will get 50 listings, 100 listings, 200 listings. Right. If you go buy a share of Nike stock on the New York Stock Exchange, there's one ticker symbol for Nike. And every bid and every ask happens at that one place. And so there's one price for Nike. But what about like the people who are like getting fake sneakers from stockers and stuff like that? Those things Hurt, bro. I don't know if it's fake news or rumors because I've never been to the to the stockhouse warehouse. I come by, but the culture has to feel, bro, that you actually care about it. Thank you for bringing this up. This is one of those things that, and like the the conversation at the event in New York, I can't have the discussion on Twitter in sure. 140 characters to do yeah. this, right? It's a conversation. What percentage of the shoes right. that go through StockX are fake? What what's your your success rate ratio on verifying shoes? Those are are, are two different things. So. Um, our success rate in our operation facility is, and this is a real number, is 99.85%, which sounds really great, right? But we process about 20,000 pairs of shoes a day mm -hmm. that go have through you seen that. The, have you seen the horror story on Nike Talk? There's a kid on Nike Talk yeah, talking yeah, yeah, yeah. about, he worked there for one day, he cried, he went home in uh -huh. tears. People had to authenticate 55 pairs of shoes in an hour. They You're played shitty music all day, and the only good song they played was uh, Rough Riders Anthem. Yeah, he called it modern day slavery. He called it a sneaker plantation. That person like thought they were gonna go and get to like hang out and like just hang out with sneakers all day. Mm. And by the way, 55 that, that, pairs that in an hour, also, is that right? You have to authenticate 55 pairs in an hour? There's not a hard uh, uh, number like that. Okay. It, it, it's different depending on who you are because there's different levels of seniority, what shoes you're doing, what products you're doing, yeah. where you're at. It is true that a single sneaker authenticator can see 500 pairs in a day. That's not that's not crazy. But aren't you setting yourself up for failure but by doing that? We absolutely have made mistakes. But you think do you think StockX sends out the most fakes no. out of all companies that are sending out no. shoes? No, no, not way. more than eBay. No way more no than way. eBay. But first of all, let me just okay. clarify. Ninety-nine point eight five percent, by the way, is yeah. everything. That's not just fakes. That's it could be wrong the watches, size. All no, the... no, but it could be wrong size. It could be a damaged oh. box. It could be a manufacturing defect. Anything, any reason why this shouldn't have gone out. Okay. Because listen, it's still a human being at the end of that that is, that is doing that. And all day listening mistakes. to Rough Riders anthem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and like humans make mistakes, and those things happen, right? Here but, we go. Shut them down. Open up shop. <laughs> oh no. But a they lot. Put you on the remix, bro. A lot of that. A lot. Of those that you've seen on there are people that are trying to basically blackmail us with social media. Mm. That happens all the time, right. right? Or just troll. Some of them are legit, right? right? But we have 75 people in our customer service team, right, that that manage that. And by the way, if we make mistakes, we 100% own it. We take it back. We make those people right. I've never heard the level of stories about fakes from Flight Club or Stadium Goods that I have about StockX. Yep. We we are. Why don't are, we see those stories? I've never seen those stories. Because, yeah, I've never heard of fakes coming from Flight Club. That's just I'm just being honest with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. And of course, I've never got. I bought more shoes other than the fours from StockX, and they weren't fake. Thank God or whatever you know. What I'm saying so. It's not. I didn't even know that was possible. I you guys never the question. The I need them to answer right. the question. All right. How come I don't see more stuff about, if, if you're saying that you guys have a better success rate than Flight Club, how come I never see stories about fakes from Flight Club? So I, I don't know. I'm going to guess a couple things. One, we have a different customer. I think most of the people that buy shoes from Flight Club are not people that are on sneaker Twitter and Reddit. Before, before StockX, I would buy shoes on eBay or off of Instagram or Twitter. I've never bought a pair of shoes at Flight Club or Stadium Goods because right. that's it's overpriced. And right. I Flight know Club, it's to be fair, is kind of like a tourist destination. Yeah, in New York. right, right. So most of the people buy shoes round there. Two? You can find plenty of examples of of fake stuff on Round Two if you want to look online. I know I'm you saw gonna, this. Sean yeah. Witherspoon called you out last year. Mm -hmm. He had this comment on Instagram. He said, "I sit behind a Sean buying Witherspoon counter. Come on the show. Excuse me. I sit behind a buying counter all day from Friday to Saturday." 
in Hollywood, California. You would never believe the amount of fake shoes I see coming from StockX. They are an absolute plague to the world. I hate everything about them at StockX. He added you so he knew it was real. You suck. Hopefully someone on your mile long payroll has the job of reading through your social media and sees this. Was Sheesh. Sean right? Sheesh. No. How quickly <laughs> did right? Sean take that down? Did you and Sean have a conversation? I said, I said, I invited him to come to Detroit. He told did you, he come? take your investors come? somewhere else. Yeah. Take your come? investors no, somewhere else. No, I invited him to come to Detroit. He declined. Um, he took that down right away and posted something to his Instagram story saying that's wrong. Here's, here's the thing. You can buy fake StockX tags on eBay from China. Right. You can put them on whatever you want. Right. right. Just because you get a fake pair of shoes that has a green tag does not mean they came from us. And not, you think round two needs yeah. to get better at this? I feel like it was kind of ironic for a lot of people I, saying that from Sean. I have I have no comment about round two's uh, skills and uh, authenticating. Josh, we want to move on to the worst take segment here on the show. Every single week, we punish somebody who last week had the worst take, according to the comments section. Usually, it's Matt Welty. Um, uh, we checked in the comments this time. It's actually me. I have the worst take this week somehow. I guess. Thank saying, you. I don't know if we're saying full size up as, as like a pun. Foot, like it's, maybe, maybe you should have wide. Maybe no, you should have gone a full size up. up. I'm not going to stop with the puns. You can give me worst take every week. I, I, I'm going to keep doing it. I do I do get the worst take this week. So, Wealthy, if you could, please you have that give, me the, there, give me the shoes. So, I have to wear, yes, wear some terrible shoes to be punished for my pun. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> please let us know in the comments this week who had this the worst take. This looks take like something we'll, that would be in like Trinidad's personal collection. I'm oh, pretty God. sure this is like hey, a real Versace shoe. Do we, where do we get these? Do How we, much are oh? those worth of stock eggs, man? Oh, wow. Steve Yeah, I don't think we have <laughs> these Can you authenticate these for us? No, I cannot. There was also a lot of comments <laughs> about my spell. hair. I, I apologize for that. I haven't seen my barber, Benny. In so, Josh, check me out, man. We do a Couple segment years. every episode called Drip, Flip, or Skip. Drip being, you know, dress well. You know, Flip being stock eggs. Skip being, no, we don't like it. flip everything. You know what I'm saying? First shoe, I'm gonna start with you, man. It's the babe time of the year. It's the Super Bowl pack or whatever. You know, it's gonna be in Atlanta this year. It's the Patriots and the Rams. They're doing this at um, Atlanta first at Amma Manier or whatever, releasing Social there. Status pop. How do you James feel about Whitner, these? come on the show. James, please come on the show. Social status, shout out. Babe and Adidas, drip, flip, or skip right here, Josh? Drip. I'm a big fan of, of the babe camo on, on Adidas shoes. Brendan? Um, I think this has been so watered down at this point. It would have been cool four years ago or maybe when Bape was still a real company, but this is just for me. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I think that this is, I keep on saying that I want Adidas, Adidas, I really want you to do better. I know uh, doing things with Bape. Make more, make more casual trainers. No, oh doing things with Bape is, you know, it's obviously it's a good look. It's a lot better than doing a fucking white mountaineering collab, which nobody wants in 2019. Stop fucking doing it. You, the Bape stuff is supposed to feel special. Like right. a Bape collaboration, like the right. Bape ZX joints with Undefeated. One of the best like Adidas collaborations all time. Shout out Gary Aston for making the first come on the show. Oh the first Bape collaboration yeah, happened on the that. Super Skate, we're the Superstar sure. Super Skate. So but this is a... It's a skip. Adidas, do better, please. This is a flip. This is a flip for me. StockX. So this is a StockX for me. All right, all right. Moving forward to Adidas Taekwondo. Josh, what do you think about? It's a women's shoe. It's a women's shoe. This is a what is it, skip? It's a it's a skip. I don't like the the silhouette. I don't like the even for a women's Brandon? shoe. It just. I'm gonna say it's a drip, drip for her. Drip, <laughs> that sounds like a for disease. Her. I'm not wearing this, but you know, <laughs> drip for her. If, drip she for her. if she comes through, if she's got a drip for her. <laughs> I was worried that people were gonna start tagging me in this, being like, "Well, dude, would you wear this shoe?" Oh, and I'm yeah. like, "No, I wouldn't fucking wear this shoe." So skip, right? For a woman in my life, I would definitely drip for her. So you get by baby mama? Yeah, for my baby mama. All right, so this is a skip for me. Uh, Moving forward, uh, the Air Max 720. Josh, what do you think? Drip flip or skip, sir? I mean, if it'll flip, I'm flipping this. I mean, I'm, I'm not worried. I know everyone has been talking about this. It's just, I don't like the big, huge air bubbles. Yeah. Brendan? Uh, I think I came around on this. I said I like some of the colorways. The Northern Lights one here is one of them releasing on February 2nd, I think. This is a drip for me. I'll do this. I'm not woke enough for this one, so it's a skip. Um, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go drip. I gotta find a colorway, but I'm gonna go drip. Moving forward, I got the Superman LeBron 3. Uh, Josh, what do you think about it? Drip, flip, or skip, sir? Drip, I like the LeBron 3. It's not even allowed to say skip on this, even if, like... Oh, LeBron... Is, uh, you're gonna, gonna, choke, you're gonna I, choke him out. I, I'm a big fan of the, of the early LeBron models. Brendan? Um, yeah, the LeBron 3 just doesn't mean anything to me. Just a fine shoe, but I'm not spending my money on that. I know I know this is a drip for... Shout out Zach Dubasic. Come on the show. Skip. 
<laughs> it's a it's a flip for me, man. It's a flip. Good luck with that. Now, a real legend. A real oh, legend. Wow. This outfit right here. Josh, t take me to this outfit. What's going on? This TED Talk mm -hmm. time. When you're going to do a TED Talk, I've never done a TED Talk. Mm -hmm. and not, not yet. What do you think about when you're getting ready to do a TED Talk, right, what so, outfit-wise? So a couple things. So first of all, you can't have any logos, any branding anywhere. Right. Right. That was that was made very clear. Is that why you wore bootcut jeans to cover up your sneakers? No. <laughs> so this is a drip? Flipper skin. This is a drip for you, right? <laughs> yeah, I feel you. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just look, let's look, uh -huh. at, look at the historical relevance and just say if this is true or not. Bootcut jeans were okay in 2015. Yes or no? The answer is no. I now it skip, is. skip, skip, skip. All right. Josh, before we get out of here, we do want to dip into the comment section every week. We take a look at the YouTube comments, see what kind of insightful things people are saying there. So I do have a card here to read off real quick um, while we still have some time on the clock. See what the people are saying on YouTube. We have Hey Yo Man saying, Wealthy got bars. Oh my God. Ooh. But can we just put it on soon. as a permanent Woo. worst take for at least a month? Shit. Also, great episode. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind that, but apparently I broke the streak. Um, ben Chung saying, love that there's a rack for the worst take sneakers now. Yep, they'll be Yo, every, shout out Rita, week. man, and uh, the 360 spinning uh, shelf, man. Shout out to her for real. She's from Chicago. Right. We, we Thank have you, RK Fire saying, I saw Brendan at Angelica Film Center, but didn't say hi. If you see me out there, say hi. I might be out catching like an artsy movie. Or reading you know, a book. Or at the library or something like that. Um, don't be afraid. Ty Johnson saying, when the fuck are we going to get those game-worn specials? Yeah, Wealthy, can you set too. that up? Real quick, I just want to make a, a comment. Trinidad's shirt is like a monument to World War II. It's literally every single country. Thank you. Last comment we have here is from Mr. Red Spy Gaming saying, is it me or does Wealthy look like Joe LaPuma? No. That's gotta be you. I don't see the resemblance. He, he put that comment. That's one, actually him commenting. He wants to be Joe so bad. Bit. Uh, that is our show for today. Josh, thank you so much for coming thank by. Thank you, Josh. Thanks for having me. This has been another Stock episode X. of Full Size Run. I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Wealthy. Trinidad James. You're going to sponsor the show from now on, right? <laughs> we'll see you next time. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Buy six for my kids, bought a seven for my This is full size run. I need you to subscribe now or I'll be forced to shave my mustache. This is full size run. I need you to subscribe now or I will quit this motherfucker, man. Subscribe now or Trinidad James will have to freestyle again. Subscribe now or I have to get a real job. Subscribe now because I just want to buy Gucci socks and be great and live my best life, please. Thank you. I can support that. Yeah, definitely. If, if nothing else, subscribe so Trinidad James can buy Gucci socks.